I think everybody sitting at home wants the answer to the same question. Did you murder your wife? No, no. Uh, I did not. And I had absolutely nothing to do with her disappearance. And, and use the word murder, and yeah, I mean, that is a, a possibility. Um, it's not one we're ready to accept, and it creeps in my mind late at night and early in the morning. And during the day, all we can think about is the right resolution is to find her well. But as you know, increasingly, in the public, suspicion has turned on you. Yes, definitely. Are you afraid police will arrest you? No. I know there's, there's no basis. I, mean, I had nothing to do with her disappearance. What's up, you guys? Happy New Year, 2023. It's nice we actually finally got some uh, sunlight out here today. It's been really rainy out here in the Bay Area. But um, today I'm actually out here in the Valley, Modesto. So today I'm going to take you back to um, December 24th, um, 2002. So if you're one of my viewers that's probably about 30 or over, probably remember the Scott Peterson case. Hi, can I help you? Yes, um, my son-in-law called. He went playing golf well this mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. at 30. My daughter's been missing from this morning. She's eight months pregnant. She took her dog for a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. The dog came home with just the leaf shot. And the dog came back without your daughter? Right. Okay. What is your name? My name is Ron. I'm her husband, Scott Peterson. What's your stepdaughter's name? Lacey. 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 Everybody was trying to help Scott, this devastated husband that reported his pregnant wife missing. The whole community came together um, in support of Scott. We'd like to thank all of you for being here and helping us trying to find our daughter. Please, please, please let her go. Bring her back. We to love us. her so much. We want her, we want her back. Please, let us have her back. Her and our grandson home safely and immediately. So please bring her back to us. Disappointed by the suspicion of course I am. Absolutely. Everybody's feeling different. We need to focus on Lacey and getting Lacey back. Yes. We feel Scott has nothing to do with it. With the disappearance of Lacey. Chief was Scott fishing by himself or was it with someone in Berkeley? We're not gonna. We're not going to discuss that at this point. Probably viewers would find it odd that you're, you can't explain what the, the husband was doing fishing. Well, no, let me, let me just, let me, yeah, let me kind of just put that all to rest. It would be wrong for me to speculate. I don't understand what you're talking about, speculating. You, you mean for, whether he was actually fishing or not? I'm, we're just, uh, yes, it would be wrong for me to speculate. We're all sudden have coordinated efforts to pass out flyers. We're utilizing any volunteers who have the time and ability to help in searches. We need we need to find Lacey. First of all, I met Scott Peterson November 20th, 2002. Scott told me he was not married. We did have a romantic relationship. I am very sorry for Lacey's family. And the, the pain that this has caused them. And I pray for her safe return as well. Now, Scott, not knowing that Amber Fry was working with authorities, was still trying to keep this uh, side relationship with Amber going. So I can remember uh, they had Scott, um, he was on tape actually on the phone at his wife Lacey's um, 
at her search party and he said that he was in Paris or something like that. It was all loud in the background. But really what was going on, it was loud. There was a bunch of volunteers looking around and there was a lot of chaos going on. But Scott was actually at his uh, missing wife's search party. Now about three or four months after Scott reported Lacey missing, authorities found um, the body of a woman and a unborn baby in the Berkeley Marina. So I believe authorities may have been following Scott and they followed him to about the Mexican border, I wanna say right around San Diego. And they arrested him with this hair dyed blonde and everything with a bunch of cash. So they felt like he may have been a flight risk. This is a tragedy that is affecting many lives. Scott Peterson has been arrested. There are no other suspects in this case. So after Scott was arrested, the trial started. So Scott was convicted and sentenced to death for killing his wife and their unborn son. Now since, I wanna say two years ago now, he did get his death sentence overturned to, I wanna say life in prison. So Scott still is uh, fighting to get a new trial. I'm gonna say at the end of last year, 2022, the judge denied his new trial. So that's not happening anytime soon. Okay, so this is gonna be the house where Scott and Lacey Peterson lived. It's a very quiet neighborhood. I feel like I'm definitely being watched out here, so I'm gonna make it quick. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.